So hello and welcome to your class for today. Now today we're going to be looking at page 87, exercise 3, grammar. So page 87, exercise 3 looks like this. It's grammar, word order of phrasal verbs. Are you ready? So let's look. It says word order of phrasal verbs, letter A. Look at the picture and underline the object of the phrasal verb in each sentence. Let's look at the picture. Can you see number one? Turn off the alarm clock. What is the object of the phrasal verb? Well, it is the alarm clock. No, turn off the alarm clock. Let's look at sentence number two. Turn the alarm clock off. What's the object of the phrasal verb? The alarm clock. No, turn the alarm clock off. And let's look at number three. Turn it off. What's the object of the phrasal verb? Well, it is it, of course. Turn it off. No? So in sentences number one and number two, the object of the phrasal verb is the alarm clock. And in sentence number three, the object is it. Now, let's look at exercise B, shall we? Complete the rules about separable phrasal verbs with noun or pronoun. So take a moment to look at the rules because right now we are going to fill in the rules. Number one, if the object of a phrasal verb is a noun, you can put it after the verb plus up, on, etc. Or you can put it between the verb and up, on, etc. No? If the object of a phrasal verb is a pronoun, well, you must put it between the verb and up, on, etc. No? So when I have a pronoun, I must separate. No? If it is a separable phrasal verb, I must separate. No? I must put the object pronoun between the verb and up, on, away, back, etc. Now, open the grammar bank on page 46, please. 146, excuse me. 146, excuse me. Now, let's look at the grammar bank 11b word order of phrasal verbs. Now, let's listen to the sentences, shall we? Here we go. 5.3 1. What time do you get up? I don't usually go out during the week. 2. Put on your coat. Put your coat on. Put it on. Turn off the TV. Turn the TV off. Turn it off. 3. I'm looking for my glasses. Have you found your glasses? No, I'm still looking for them. So those are the example sentences. Let's have a look now at our explanation. So let's look over here. Can you see? A phrasal verb is a verb plus a particle. No, so en realidad casi siempre decimos que es verbo más preposición, pero deberíamos de llamarlo partícula, ¿no? Porque puede ser preposición o adverbio, ¿no? Lo vimos en el otro video, ¿verdad? So, a phrasal verb is a verb plus a particle. The particle is a preposition or an adverb, ¿no? Pero insisto, casi siempre decimos el verbo más preposi preposición, ¿no? Pero es preposición o adverbio, ¿no? For example, get up, turn on, and look for. Now, let's look at number one. Some phrasal verbs don't have an object. For example, get up, go out, ¿no? So they are intransitive, ¿no? Y aquí los tenemos en el uno aquí, ¿no? What time do you get up? I don't usually go out during the week, ¿no? So ahí no hay complemento directo, son intransitivos, ¿no? Lo vimos también en el otro video. Let's have a look at number two. Some phrasal verbs have an object and are separable, ¿no? Son transitivos y separables. With these phrasal verbs, you can put the particle on, off, etc. before or after the object, ¿no? So aquí podemos poner el complemento directo, ¿no? De antes o después, ¿no? De esa partícula, ¿no? Bien. Now, when the object is a pronoun, For example, me, it, him, it 
always goes between the verb and the particle. So let's have a look at our examples over here. No? Put on your coat. Okay, sin separar. Put your coat on, no? Separando. Verbo de la partícula. Put it on, pues obligatoriamente, aquí tengo que separar porque si el phrasal verb es separable y el complemento directo es un, es un pronombre, entonces hay que separar. Otro ejemplo, mira. Turn off the TV. Ok, sin separar. Turn the TV off, pues separándolo, ¿no? Turn it off, pues aquí separándolo porque el complemento es un pronombre y hay que separar. Now, let's look at this example. Here's your coat, no? Put it on. So aquí no puedo decir put on it, no. Put it on. And finally, number three, some phrasal verbs have an object and are inseparable, no? So son transitivos porque llevan object, pero inseparables porque no se puede separar el verbo de su partícula. For example, look for. With these phrasal verbs, the verb, for example, look, and the particle, example, for, are never separated. I'm looking for my glasses, not I'm looking my glasses for. And remember, you have your list on page 163. Let's look at our examples over here. Pues look for, no? I'm looking for my glasses, no? Have you found your glasses? No, I'm still looking for them. So aquí, incluso, cuando tengo un pronombre, no lo puedo separar. Si es inseparable, es inseparable. ¿Recordáis el tipo 1, los verdes, y el tipo 3, los azules, no? ¿Cuáles son los separables? El tipo 2, los rojos. ¿Recordáis? Bien. Now... Let's have a look at the exercises on page 147, shall we? Now, letter A, circle the correct form. If both are correct, tick the box. Let's look at the example. Turn off your mobile. Turn your mobile off before the film starts. Both are correct because turn off is separable. And letter B, complete the sentences with it or them and a word from the list, no? So we must complete the sentences with it or them, obligatoriamente it or them, and a word from the list, back, in, on, up or down. Now, let's look at the example. I can't hear the radio, turn it up, no? I can't hear the radio, turn it up, no? No, oigo, no escucho, no oigo la radio, sube la, sube el volumen de la radio, no? Bien, now. Take some time to do the exercises. Pause the video because when we continue, we'll be correcting. So, let's correct, shall we? Have you got some answers? Well, here's exercise A, sentences one to five. Let's see. Number one. Tonight, I have to look after my sister. Only this option is correct because look after is inseparable. Number two. Let's go out this evening. Again, Let's go out this evening. Only one option is correct. Go out is inseparable. Number three, turn down the radio. Turn the radio down. Both are correct because turn down is separable. No, it's a red one. Do you remember? It's separable. So in number three, both are correct. Number four, my brother is looking for a new job. Now look for is inseparable. So the only option is Looking for a new job. Inseparable. And number five, you should throw away those old jeans. You should throw those old jeans away. Both are correct because throw away is separable. No? So number three and number five, both are correct. Now let's look at six to ten. Here we go. I don't like shopping for clothes online. I prefer to try them on before I buy them. Now, again, in this case, the only correct option is try them on. Remember, try on must be separated when the object is a pronoun. Look at my object. What's my object? Them. So I must separate. Number seven, take off your shoes before you come in. Take your shoes off before you come in. Both are correct in number seven. Take off is separable. Number eight. That's my sister. I think you'd really get on with her. Only get on with her is correct because get on with is inseparable. So far, so good. Number nine. If it doesn't fit, you should take it back to the shop. 
Now, take back must be separated when the object is a pronoun. No, so it must be separated when the object is a pronoun. So, excuse me, I didn't do my color. So, if it doesn't fit, you should take it back. You should take it back to the shop. Let's just change the color. You should take it back to the shop. There we go. You should take it back to the shop. Only one answer is correct here. Only one answer is correct in number nine. Take it back. No, take back must be separated when the object is a pronoun. And number 10, what time do you get up in the morning? Get up is inseparable. Only one correct option there. Now, let's look at exercise B. Complete the sentences with it or them and a word from the list. Let's have a look. Number one, your clothes are all over the floor. Pick them up. Now, clothes is plural. Pick them up. Number two, here's your coat. Put it on. Here's your coat. Coat is singular, no? Put it on. Number three, what does this word mean? Look it up. No? Word, singular, look it up. Look it up. Number four. To get your passport, there are three forms. Please fill them in now. No? Forms is plural, them. Now, please fill them in now. Number five. You remember that money I lent you? When can you give it back? No? Money is singular, it, no? Que, well, uncountable, perdón, es incontable, mejor dicho que más que singular, no? When can you give it back? Number six, is there anything on TV? Let's turn it on and see. No, turn it on, it, TV. Very good. And number seven, you won't remember my address. Write it down. No, so you won't remember my address. Write it down. So here we have separable phrasal verbs with an object that is a pronoun. So we must Separate them all. Now, remember your list. Don't forget on page 163, you have a great list. Now, type one is green. Now, which is intransitive and inseparable. Type two is red, which is transitive and separable. And type three is blue, transitive and inseparable. So don't forget your list on page 163. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching.